If you're into cars or car racing at all, you've definitely heard of NASCAR. NASCAR stands for the National Association for Stock Car Auto Racing and has been a prominent and beloved American motorsport. Its roots trace back to the 1920s and 30s, but it became super popular in the 2000s, reaching its peak around 2006. However, since then, the popularity of NASCAR has sort of been on a decline. In this video, we will dive deep into the origins of NASCAR, its peak in the mid-2000s, and the possible reasons for its decline in recent years. Let's get straight into it. NASCAR started as a very rough sport. The sport started when prohibition was in place in the United States. The prohibition era spanned from 1920 to 1933, which meant it was illegal to produce, sell, or transport alcohol. But of course, people found a way to do it anyway. These were people known as moonshiners, who produced and distributed homemade alcohol, often in remote and hidden locations to hide from the authorities. These moonshiners who transported alcohol required speed and cunningness to outrun the police. They would modify their vehicles to enhance speed and handling. They stripped the car of unnecessary weight and fit in powerful engines. But even when Prohibition ended in 1933, the need for the thrill and speed of racing cars did not end for these drivers. Many of the drivers who had honed their skills during the moonshine running days found themselves still wanting to race. As the desire for this competition grew, impromptu races began to take place on the same dirt roads that once served as the moonshiners' escape routes. One of the earliest organized racing events took place in 1936 on the sands of Daytona Beach, Florida. This gave birth to a tradition that eventually led to the establishment of NASCAR. The official formation of NASCAR as an organization came in the late 1940s, under the leadership of Bill France Sr. On February 21, 1948, France gathered a group of drivers, mechanics, and enthusiasts in Daytona Beach to establish NASCAR. The organization aimed to provide structure and rules for car racing. Bill France wanted to transform it from an underground hobby into a legitimate and regulated sport. Over the years, NASCAR signed sponsors, signed broadcasting deals to get them on TV. They also opened new tracks and expanded to different areas of the country. They kept growing and, as we mentioned before, the mid-2000s marked a golden era for NASCAR when there was an extraordinary growth in its popularity and viewership. This popularity couldn't just be attributed to a single factor. A combination of factors contributed to this remarkable rise. First off, TV and the whole digital thing played a big role. They started showing NASCAR races on TV like never before, and you could even watch them online. So whether you were chilling at home or out and about, you didn't miss a single race. That really helped make NASCAR way more famous. And hey, it wasn't just about the racing, it was the drivers too. You had these awesome men like Dale Earnhardt Jr., Jeff Gordon, Tony Stewart, and Jimmy Johnson, who were like superheroes on the track. But what made them even cooler was their off-track personalities. They had this special charm that drew you in, whether you were a huge fan or just curious about racing. Speaking of that racing, the way these races were held was really exciting back then. They had this thing called the Car of Tomorrow, which not only made racing safer, but also made it way more even between the teams. That meant the races were super close, with cars swapping places at the front all the time. It was filled with action, and you never really knew who'd win until the very end. It made watching each race an enjoyable experience. But apart from the racetrack, NASCAR had also become part of everyday life. You see NASCAR stuff everywhere, from cool sponsors on the cars to t-shirts and hats that fans proudly wore. It was more than just a sport. It felt like a real part of the community. People talked about it, rooted for their favorite drivers, and shared the excitement together. So NASCAR in the mid-2000s was this amazing mix of awesome TV coverage, driver personalities that you couldn't help but love, super tight races that kept you glued to the screen, and a whole cultural phenomenon that made it more than just a race. But despite its flourishing popularity back then, NASCAR began to slowly experience a decline. Let's take a closer look at the path the sport was taking and talk about a few of the factors that contributed to its decline. One of the major reasons behind this shift in NASCAR's popularity was the changing TV landscape, with streaming platforms coming up and all sorts of other entertainment options coming into play. 
Suddenly, people were all about binge-watching and streaming stuff on their own schedules. NASCAR's traditional TV viewership faced some tough competition. As people started seeking out on-demand content and digital streaming, the sports ratings and viewership began to drop. Another curveball was thrown by the economic challenges that cropped up after the 2008 recession. Sponsors, the people who put money behind the teams and drivers, started pulling out, which led to smaller investments in teams and drivers. This hit the smaller teams particularly hard, as they had trouble finding enough money to keep up, and that meant they couldn't compete as well. So it wasn't just about who was best on the track, it was about who could afford to stay in the game. Eventually, this financial crisis had a notable impact on the overall competitiveness of NASCAR. Then there was a matter of NASCAR's fan base. Picture the typical NASCAR fan. Chances are you're imagining someone a bit older, right? Well, that's part of the issue. Most of NASCAR's fans were older. They'd been fans for a while, but the sport wasn't really hitting the mark with the younger crowd. The younger generation was into different stuff, and they didn't see NASCAR as cool or exciting. So the sport had a hard time connecting with them, and that made it tough to keep the fan base growing. But NASCAR wasn't just sitting around watching its fan base drop. To renew the excitement and bring young audiences in, NASCAR tried to come up with rule changes and new formats. But as with any change, there were some bumps along the way. Not everyone was on board. Some changes were meant to make things more exciting on the track, but others didn't really sit right with fans or teams. The whole mix of reactions just split the fan base even more. Last but not least, think about the big name drivers. Back in the mid-2000s, there were these superstar drivers who everyone loved to watch. But as time went on, these drivers started retiring, and when they left, they took a bit of NASCAR's star power with them. The new generation of drivers that came in didn't quite have that same star quality. They didn't create the same intense rivalries and excitement that made people get so hooked before. So that's the story of NASCAR's ups and downs. They had their glory days in the mid-2000s, but then things got rocky. The rise of streaming and changing TV habits, money troubles, struggling to connect with a younger crowd, experimenting with new rules, and losing the big star power all played into this decline. But hey, NASCAR isn't giving up. They're learning from their past and trying to find a way to win back the fans and excitement. Only time will tell if they can make it happen. What do you think are the reasons behind the decline of NASCAR? Is there any point you think we missed in the video? Also, if you're one of those people who followed NASCAR before but have stopped following it somewhere along the way, we really want to know what made you lose interest. Comment below and let us know. We love hearing from you. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content like this. We'll see you in the next video.